All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog. And today we're going to be fitting the bull bar to the sprinter van. So this is the bull bar that we're going to be fitting to the van. So you get the bar, you get the brackets. This time they sent out the right brackets. I got the wrong ones last time. Well, that was a fail because the company that sent out the bull bar with these brackets, this is for a 2018 model and this is a 2007 Sprinter. Oh God, I'm gonna boomerang it straight back to that bloody shop. And you also get this pack with the bolts in and a full diagram on how to do it, which is great. The tools mainly you're going to need for this is mostly a socket set or well, you can use a spanner it's up to you but basically we just need that size and i'm guessing from what it looks like it looks like a 13 mil i was wrong i think it's 15 let's have a look yeah so it's a 15 mil socket that you're going to need to attach these two brackets so annalise is going to start the van up now and uh, pull it forward onto the ramps but least before you start Wait there, because I just want to get underneath and I just want to hear, see if I can hear this uh, alternator. Doesn't sound too nice, does it? Mm. I'll look at that more in depth and see what's going on. <sighs> ah, getting too old for this. So basically, the way it works, I'll spin the camera around now and show you. <laughs> <laughs> So basically where this hole is here, that slides up like that. And then with the other one, is the exact same on the opposite side. So over on this side, you'll see the hole on the sprinters and on the crafters. This just slides straight in there. And that's that in. You basically unscrew this. And you do the same on this side. Unscrew this. Get your bracket, so that this is on the inside like this. Get your bracket, that goes up there like that. Now, if you've got two, eight hands, it really does help. So basically you just put that bracket in there, screw that up, and you'll get your 15 mil socket. I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs, but that's nice and solid now there. And you just do the exact same on this side here with this one. Now I've got those tightened up, they're solid. Now, previous, they used to do this bracket and they used to say one screw bracket was a bit flimsy. Now, I don't find it is, but they have upgraded it. They do send you out like a bar that goes from here and it can go right over to here and you can put a screw hole in there and bolt it twice. But it doesn't need it, but if you do want to put it in, you've got that option when you do buy the bull bar. So these are the brackets that will be getting attached to the bull bar. This one will basically go on there, like this. Just put one screw in there, pop another one in. So we're just going to loosely fit this so that we can straighten the bull bar up from the front and then tweak it ourselves and get it all nice and tight. I'm just going to nip these up just slightly, not much because I want to be able to adjust it when I lift it onto the brackets. So I'll just slightly tighten these up. So once you've got these brackets on either side, the best way to actually fit it is to lift it up to the first hole here, pop your bolt through, screw that first one on just slightly so you can use it like pretty much like a hinge. Come over to this opposite side here, line that up, pop your bolt through and then screw it over onto this side here with a nut. Lift your bull bar up, it lines up to the next bracket that goes into the, and you can put that next screw in. I'll just tighten the brackets up now, tighten everything up, and then see what we think, eh? That looks so good. How good's that gonna look with the lights on? So there we are, bull bars on. Looks quite smart to be honest. Can't wait to get the lights on it now. 
quite an easy job so if you're looking at doing it yourself it's pretty easy to be fair spot on <laughs>